Here's the final part for uh, completing our SOAP project. So we are looking at our SOAP and our mold. What we also need to do now is go to Photoshop. Righto, so we have uh, a little Photoshop template that we're going to put a rendered image of our SOAP on top of, uh, into. And the reason we make these posters, instead of just marking the uh, soap molds and things like that, is because we, as a class group, there is not enough time for everybody to 3D print their designs to get them submitted. So we do these little posters as kind of like a proof concept, which get marked, and then uh, we'll print throughout the term, just because it can take a long time and there's nothing worse than uh, people waiting for prints to be done and they take you know 16 hours 18 hours things like that particularly if there's a mistake and you've got to go back and fix things it's it's a huge hassle so yeah we make these posters because the posters can be produced really quickly all right so to get this poster you uh there's a link in the email that i sent you those links can expire though so that's a there's a link to the sharepoint those links can expire. So what you can do is if you go to Teams, here's our year 10's graphic, graphics team, okay? And if you, in Teams, if you click these three little dots, you can click Open SharePoint. Okay, the SharePoint looks like this. This is where you're gonna submit your work. SOAP poster files, this is where you've got all the files you need to complete the SOAP poster. All right, so that's that's a font file. Here's a Photoshop poster, and then here's your texture, uh, soap texture. Okay, you can download all of those, and then open the soap poster Photoshop file in Photoshop. All right, so we need to prep our soap and make it look like it belongs, uh, like it looks like soap. In one of those files that you just downloaded is a soap texture. Okay, the soap texture looks like this once it opens. Right? So we're gonna apply this to our fusion model, render it and make it look like soap. One of the things we can do though is uh, this. So we've got like just a pretty bland looking soap color here. If you go to few, if you go to Photoshop, here's your background color, here's your background texture. Just say, I want my soap to be a red color. Okay, click on red, and then I fill layer one with red. I can go multiply or overlay, right? And I've kind of merged the red and the soap texture together. File, save as. And make sure you save it as a JPEG. All right, so. You can use the default one, or you can change the color. And it probably is a good idea to change the color because the default's pretty ugly. All right, so you can select any color for your soap. Just fill one layer with that color. You can change overlay or even multiply. If multiply is a little too dark, you can change your opacity. And then file, save as, and select select JPEG. Alrighty, so there's our there's our new soap texture, our new red soap texture. Okay, so here is fusion. Actually, let's. This is the. I'm gonna go back, make it green because it's a frog. Why didn't I think of that? All right, I'll select real quick a green color. Fill it with green. File. Save as. There we go. That, that makes more sense for a frog, a green texture. All right, so we're in Fusion now. We need to make a custom texture and put it on top of our frog. We're going to turn off our mold shape. Then we need to apply our texture to our soap. Click A for appearance. This is our default texture. If you right click on that, 
and duplicate. And then right click again and edit. This menu pops up. You can tap on advanced. And for some reason, there's a little button over here that's hidden. So if you drag this out next to color, so we don't want to change the color, what we actually want to do is click this drop down menu and select image. We're going to find our green texture. All right, so this texture is seamless, so it'll like tile up and it should be okay. It should look like there's no edges to it. And click OK. Drag it on top. All right, if it doesn't look extra attractive, double tap. First thing you can do is reduce the size. Okay, that looks a bit more soapish. And the roughness is also what you want to change. So if your roughness is set to zero, when we render it, it'll be like as reflective as a mirror. So you want to kind of like mimic what soap would look like. So sort of move roughness up towards this end and click OK. Right, so you double tap, change your size, change your roughness, and then click done and done. All right, we've applied a soap texture to our soap model. Rent design into render. All right, here's our render menu. All right, so the trickiest thing about render is making sure our lighting looks good. All right, so I'm gonna twist our frog a little bit. Move him so that he's in the middle. Twist again. All right. So you wanna render the frog so it looks nice. Set up, scene settings. All right, down the bottom, this is your restore default. Okay, if you stuff this entire thing up and it looks terrible, click restore default. All right, first thing we should do is like think about our focal length. You obviously don't want it too zoomed in because it looks weird. I like to move this towards the end here. And then you've got exposure. So exposure, exposure changes things pretty significantly. So 11 was roughly what it's set up. If you even go to 10, 10 looks nice. If you go to 12, too dark. 9, too light. So you want roughly around that 10 level. All right, twist, get the right angle. All right, you want to zoom into the frog. And roughly position your design to be about this big. Once it's about there, render. You are going to click local renderer. Once you click local renderer, you have the option to select PNG. You have the option to select transparent background. Let's go width 900, height 1111, render. Okay, so rendering can take a little while. Actually, it's going pretty quick. But anyway, I'll go to Photoshop real quick. So here is our Canberra Critters file. If you open it up, if you look at the, if you look at the um, layers in Photoshop, remember if this looks different to yours, click Window Workspace Reset Essentials. Okay, once you click on that, you've got these different layers. All right, the border at the top, I don't want you to mess with that. You've got a product description. That's where you're gonna write a little thing in a second. You're gonna write the name of your character here. And then you're gonna place your soap render here. All right? The layers with borders with uh, locks on them, don't touch those. All you need to change is this. All you need to change is that. And place your image. All right? We have a custom font here. It is called Bubblegum. Okay, so the character name will be written in Bubblegum. So that font won't be on your computer, but you can go to the you can go to SharePoint, download this file. Once it downloads, it will look like this. 
just double tap it and you can install the font okay so you'll have bubblegum on your computer all right so in photoshop the text can be tricky all right find the text tool actually we'll go to text in a bit i'm going to turn these two eyes off let's go have a look at fusion Alrighty, my soap render is done. Beautiful. I'd probably want that to be a little higher resolution, but we'll just go with what we got. Download. Okay, download, save. Okay, go to Photoshop. Here's your, where's your soap render is gonna go. File place linked or embedded, it doesn't really matter. Right. I can remove the original. I can position my soap render where I want it to go. Right. Spacing there is a little weird. I might go edit, transform, flip horizontally. And that looks a little nicer, like it belongs. I right, put my soap in position. All right, if it cuts off the text at the top, that's fine. All right, character name. He's going to be called Floppy the Fusion Frog. All right, so I've read my text there. Text can be tricky, okay? If you're trying to select one bit, this bit of text instead of that bit of text, and it's getting in the way, the easiest best is probably just turn the layer on and off by clicking the eye. All right now, here's your product description. In your product description, you are going to write a little description of what you've done for this project. So it's a good idea to summarize the task. The task was to create a cartoon character uh, for a show called Canberra Critters. It has to appeal to young children. You're going to describe what your character is, char how your character appeals to young kids. You can describe the tools you use to make it uh, and just describe why your design is a good design. All right, click all the layers on. To yeah, so you got all your layers on, you included your text there. If you want to move things around and replace things, and you might have less text, more text, that's fine. You might want to have a different font as well. That's cool. All right, just make sure the font's nice and legible. All right, but once this is like this, once you've made your render, once you put it in, you're good to go. File, save as, save as a JPEG, and then, and then you're basically done. Um, yeah, so that's how to finish this project. You are going to place all of that into a folder and upload the folder onto the SharePoint. Make sure you read the handout and make sure you're addressing all of the things that you're asked to do. Um, one final thing, you're asked to submit an STL file for printing. We can, I can show you how to do that real quick. All right, so let's go back to our Fusion file and let's go to Ren Design. All right, we want to export our design as an STL. So we only want the mold shape. So there's the mold shape, okay? You got your soap and your mold. You're gonna delete, whoops, no, remove. Deleting in Fusion is never a good idea. Always click remove. Okay, there's our, there's our soap mold, export it as an STL, file, save it one last time, file, export. From this drop down menu, you've got STL. You want to submit as an STL because STLs are what the 3D printer reads, uh, and then just export. Right, so ho hopefully that makes sense. We've got 
things to submit one last time. A JPEG of this poster, an STL of our frog shape, and then you're gonna submit your PowerPoint folio with sketches in it, with a task description, with this theory of knowledge question, which is to get you thinking about the task. You should have done that beforehand. These things go in your process section. Create a folder, put the poster in there, put the STL of the soap, and your final evaluation is similar to your task description. Okay, that goes in there. Hopefully, that's all good. If you have any questions, email me, and I'll see you back at school.